Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Geraldine, and in today's video, I am gonna show you behind the scenes on what I do on a weekly basis to plan out my week. And I currently use ClickUp for this. I've used so many other project management tools from Trello, Asana, Notion, everything that's out there. And I decided that ClickUp is the one that I want to utilize for my business because I noticed that a lot of my clients use it as well. So why not be proficient in utilizing this amazing tool? So I'm gonna go and share my screen so you can see. And yeah, let's get started. I'm excited to share this because I've never done a video like this. So if you like this type of video where I show you behind the scenes or tech tutorials, let me know in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. All right, let's get started. So I am currently uh, logged into my ClickUp account. And last year in Q4, I did a overhaul and I just wanted to really streamline my ClickUp because it was a hot mess. I felt like there was so many things that I did not need and I was just creating things to create. So I took some time in Q4 to really audit everything that I have and just keep whatever I use and create as I go, but be more intentional with what I create. So if you have never used ClickUp before, you can use this for personal uh, purposes. I used to use that. I just use now Notion for all of my personal goals, habit tracking, all of that. But for my business, I use ClickUp. And it's an amazing tool. And one of my favorite things is that it has automations within the within ClickUp so you don't have to use external tech tools like Intrigramat or Zapier as much. I mean, you can if you want to, but it has a lot of automations within uh, ClickUp. So I'm just gonna give you a quick little overview of what my ClickUp um, looks like. I'm not gonna dive into like the folders or anything, but if you want a behind the scenes of what everything looks like in all of my folders on the left here, I can do another video on that. But right now I'm just going to focus on two main areas and one of them is my weekly plan and the other one is my brain dump. On the left here, it's uh, like your home base. So you have your favorites where you can star things that you want to see here that are easy to get. Your spaces, I call these like your departments. Within each department, you can have folders, you can have lists, you can have a document, and it's just amazing. Again, if you have not used ClickUp before, I highly recommend it, especially for your business. On the top here, you have your different types of views. They do have a list of different views that you can use. I think the most popular ones are the board or the list view. Then there's the calendar, timeline, and table um, that I think a lot of people use. But for now, I like to use uh, <laughs> the board view and the list view. And I'll show you what the list view looks like. So my weekly plan, I have it set for uh, Sunday through Saturday. And this is just something that I like to create for myself just to kind of have a uh, like a template of things that I need to get done based on the day. And then if you hover over here, you're able to manage your statuses. Your statuses are um, these sections here or they can be called like groups as well. So collapse um, your group here. Yeah, so let me show you my board view. So I like to keep it like this and then you can move this over if you wanted to, but I like to keep it like this as my pinned view. So if I, on a Monday, just wanna check, okay, what are the things that I need to do for my business? 
these are some of the things and a lot of the things I already know like a team meeting um, I know that Mondays are my recording day so I record my YouTube video Mondays are client check-ins uh, Tuesdays and Thursdays I like to reserve those days for calls Wednesday I know that I have to post my video on Wednesday and I try to do 30 to 45 minutes of focusing on my growth and my goals for the quarter and I'll show you how that looks like right now Fridays usually it's more creating assets but I like to have that there as a reminder and then on Saturdays that's when I do a little bit of like my CEO day where I review finances review how the week went and then plan my next week um, I have a VA she helps me with updating my KPI tracker so I just have that there because I she knows that I look at them on Saturday so it's important for her to have all the numbers up to date by Saturday Sundays I have my uh, weekly email that I draft up so I start writing it um, that goes out on uh, Fridays and then usually on Sunday as well it's like my content writing day sometimes I'll create short videos and then just have them on my phone um, for later use so this is something that you can create stay somewhat organized and and then also I, I don't do this specifically for this one but you can also add uh, dates so let's say on every Sunday so I can have this be due on Sunday you can set a recurring this would be Sunday and then on my calendar if I was to click on my calendar I will have uh, this specific task on here so write weekly email so if you're a calendar person you like to see what your calendar looks like you're able to do that as well the purpose of this brain dump is just to get everything that is on my head whether it's during the day or at the end of the day that I don't have time to look into at that moment again because I want to stay focused and have a process for this is I just come in here and just write it on my to do and then at the end of the week on Saturday when I'm reviewing my week I go back in here and then I categorize how important this is so anything that is currently in the works meaning this is what I am uh, creating right now that one's already done uh, anything that is in the works that I'm working on that I know can be a little uh, time-consuming that's this column here anything that takes less than five minutes so let's say I needed to call to make an appointment right let's see call to make a dental appointment which I do need to do so I will put it in here in this column and I know that anything that's under less than five I can knock out in you know 15 20 minutes all right so this other column this fourth column is time sensitive so this is anything that needs to be done somewhat urgently whether it's I forgot the deadline so anything that is just time sensitive will go in this column if it lets me move it over okay so one other thing that you can do is just click on the actual task and then click complete, complete. there we go um, anything that is not urgent so I know that I have to create some SOPs for some new tasks for my VA it's not urgent it's something that I do need to do so I'll just put it in this column and then anything that is focus time where it's like a bigger project type thing it goes under focus time and then anything that is completed will be here so I can see what all the tasks that are done now the reason why I started doing this brain dump is just to you know help stay organized during the week you know when things are getting thrown at you um, and you don't want to stop what you're doing and you just want ha want to have a place where you can 
write it down and then come back to it later. Um, some people use paper, a notebook. I mean, you can use that as well. But again, trying to keep everything in my digital space, this is where I keep it. Um, so this is what I do when I plan my week. I also um, put in dates in here. You can also put, oh, so let's just click on this one here. You can put the urgency. So this is something that could be urgent. You can put the date on here that I want it to be done by next Wednesday. Um, and so on and so forth. So this is what I use on a weekly basis to plan out and just stay organized on things that I need to accomplish on a weekly basis. You'll see that on my weekly plan, this is you know my ideal week, right? Things that I need to do that's recurring, you know, it's just not gonna stop. And then anything that's like in the brain dump section are just little projects, little tasks that I need to accomplish. All right, I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions about my brain dump process or how I plan out my week on recurring things that I have to do in my business or, or if you just have any questions regarding ClickUp. And again, if you like this type of video, let me know by liking and subscribing. That is all I have for you and I will see you next week. Thank you.